Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Hail and well met, <clears throat> and welcome back to the fireside, because it is once again time for another chapter of the Polyhedron Collider Plays D&D. Tonight we have the Champions of Chance, and we are myself, John Cage, as Zanhorn the Bard, Ben Hopper as Benjamin the Barbarian, Paul Ralph as Sens the Cleric, and Rory Summers uh, as ha have all the Paladin nearly fell into the trap. <laughs> he'll, be with us. he'll be with us very very shortly and of course last but not least we have our ma uh, malevolent dm steve <laughs> oh dear what have i done <laughs> so steve if you'd like to step once again into the torchlight and resume our story okay so in the last session you had previously been to the crypt garden forest where you met with um the ancient green dragon Tor, and you'd willingly handed over the orb of dragon dragon kind at <laughs> 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 the goodness of your hearts and you'd uh, then were heading back uh up the um the road between Waterdeep and Mirabar through to the town of Tribor. I believe your intentions were to head to Yatar and then take the um, Harper's portals to somewhere else on the Sword Coast. Something along those lines. When you got to Tribor, um, you had a discussion with the owners of the caravans, because you'd seen a caravan previously that seemed very heavily guarded. And so you went and had a discussion with them, um, which didn't seem to didn't seem to give you much information. They seemed to be a little bit cagey. And uh, you then uh, went into town to speak to the um, uh, the lord of the town, as it were. I can't remember her exact title now, top of my head. And you, while there, you noticed that she dispatched twelve riders south. And once, oh, so so she's the Lord Protector of Tribor. That's the Wrath of Sandril. That's the one. Yep. Lord. So she dispatched um, the militia on horseback south, and uh, there was a story. There was a you heard information of an orc attack to the south. Well, while you're busy trying to chat to her, you notice that there are orcs starting to encroach on the town. These orcs were either walking or mounted on axe beaks, these kind of like prehistoric birds. Orcs on stalks. Orcs on stalks. <laughs> <laughs> um, quickly followed by some little like impy kind of fire creatures and then two enormous fire giants. The orcs and the imps uh, attacked the town, uh, whereas the fire giants kind of just stomped, made a direct line to the middle of the um kind of stabling yard, which you can see on the map at the moment, and started using their swords, like shovels, to start digging up the uh, yard. So, apart from the odd throwing the odd stone at you, while this combat's been going on, the giants have been largely ignoring you and concentrating on their digging while you've been fighting off orcs, uh, bigger orcs, and orcs on stalks, as you put it. So we had to end our session half with the combat, because it turned it into, well, one absolutely massive scrap. <laughs> <laughs> so you've been fighting for about six rounds now. So actually, time-wise, you've been going for about 50 seconds. But from gameplay-wise, it's been one massive scrap with lots of things happening. So we return to the game. I believe at the moment, Sanhorn has got some weird spell which allows him to blink in and out of existence. <laughs> well, blink onto <laughs> another plane, certainly. Blink onto another plane, and then he pops back in. <laughs> and it's Sanhorn's action. Right. So I think I'd measured it out last time and I couldn't quite dash and get or get into range that I could affect the uh, the big bads. So I think because they are something like 100 feet away. So if I went my full distance to 30 feet, I would then unfortunately still be 70 feet away from them, which is unfortunate because the things that I want to do <laughs> don't reach that far. <laughs> <laughs> so I think instead what I, do, I will do is if I... Yeah, so I'm going to run uh, my full normal movement. Doo -doo. 
do 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 30 feet takes me to around about there. I'm gonna do my normal movement and then can you remind me which of the orcs that I can see were still uh, incapacitated by the spell I'm concentrating on? Um, I believe it was just that one, yeah, because that one's well. taking damage. No, that one's taking damage because he's been hit there. So as soon as they take damage, they are no longer incapacitated. Okay. Yeah, I wallop that one. So. Which which one can we ping it? Ah, in fact, I just remembered. There, I do actually have another ten feet that movement. Work. So my blink spell allows me to reappear on the battlefield anywhere within ten feet from where I started previously. Oh, okay. So I'm actually there <laughs> right did that was that right did that then mean that i had that's right so then 60 foot was literally the square in front of the fire giants but not actually the fire giants <laughs> okay <laughs> so i'm gonna leg it forwards to have and uh that's that's the mount there is it hang on that's the mount of one what? of the orcs is that right yep but not the orc itself ah. and that was still held um, I think so, yes. Okay, in which case I will uh, level my crossbow at, uh, let's say, that one. The fire thing in front. And I will take a pot shot. Okay. Mm -hmm. Pew! So we've hit armor class 10. So you uh, line up your shot carefully, ping it at the little thing, and the crossbow bolt just like pings off its rocky body. Okay. <clears throat> so having it's done not that... not the start you had last time, John. <laughs> it's not the start last time, no. <laughs> uh, so having done that, I'll mutter something, and then hopefully, <laughs> he says, uh, disappear from this plane. Which I do. <laughs> 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 so Zamhorn damn mother funk <laughs> <laughs> Benjin right can you remind me um, have our, our Rory uh, what the what was the advantage you were giving me by fighting next to you um, that is uh, it is protection the prayer, no, yeah, it's uh, if you are within five feet of me, um, then anyone that attacks you, I can impose a disadvantage upon them. Ah, oh, that's it. Yeah. Can I just clarify something, Steve? Mm -hmm. If I'm on the ethereal plane and I see someone... Uh, getting attacked can i you still use my cutting words or because i'm on the other plane no you're on the other plane so you, you can you can see what's happening but you can't <laughs> kind of interact with someone you can make some cutting words but they will have zero effect <laughs> <laughs> yeah basically Fair. so it's my my go so i guess it's just five feet to move up next to that orc so I will take a small amount of uh, movement. Oh, I'm raging, aren't I? Rage, take off one of my rages. And I will attack that orc. Um, and I will attack it recklessly. Ooh. Um, so I get advantage of my attack. Um, da -da 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 -da. I now remember what I was starting to remember what what uh, or Benjin starting to remember what he was doing. <laughs> so obviously, uh, I get advantage on my attack, uh, but attack rolls against me get advantage. But then that's cancelled out by cancelled out yeah. protection. Yeah, yeah. providing that Sorry. orc is still around. Sorry, providing that orc is still around. Uh, well, I think it's any attacks against me until my next turn. Yep. Yeah. Uh, so let's attack it. Boom! So nice. eleven damage on that one Ooh. that we're next to. That one there. Uh, oh, is it looking? Yeah, basically you <laughs> rip it apart. You go. Ah! 
Okay. <laughs> splash, 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 because you are reckless at this point, so you are just kind of just... Yep. And turning obviously... Into, turning, what... turning it into orc pate at this point. <laughs> yeah. And then I will use some more of my movement to... Da, 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 da. Where's the measure? Uh... Oh, yeah. Easy. Oh, that one's still asleep, Benjamin. Go for the one that's mounted. I'm oh, gonna, I'm going to go right, sorry. grab Benjin and turn him and throw him <laughs> towards the uh, towards the mounted orc. Towards the big thing, grimacing at us. These yeah. guys, right? Yeah. Oh, the ones behind us. No, <laughs> this big giant one. No, I think that's isn't that frozen? this one. <laughs> I thought that one was frozen. Steve said, and that one. Ooh, that one. I must admit, I, that one is frozen. I know that one's still frozen because he's still mesmerised. I think that one. No, that was taking damage, so he can't. No, he was running forward. Okay. Yeah. Right. Okay. So I'll obviously move up to that one then. Yeah. I don't, I don't get advantage on the second attack. I think that was just the axe speak on its own as well. I think the um, the ride would come off. That could be it. Yeah. Ah, uh, right. Ooh, okay. okay. There we go. Uh, 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 uh. Boom. So ten damage to the. Oh, sorry, that should have been 12, uh, and 12, because I'm raging. I've got the plus two. Well, that's definitely a hit, <laughs> and that's 12 damage. So, yes, that's uh, completely... You basically just run forward and cleave the head off this thing in one swoop. Yep. So, I... Sandhorn's, like, on the ethereal plane, like, popcorn, like, mm, impressive. Mm. So, five, <laughs> ten for... I've still got movement left. Um... I think so. What are these behind us that are coming up behind us? They're orcs, but they're bigger and meaner. They're like the uruk high in them. Um, yeah, I don't them. like orcs. <laughs> I hate orcs. So, um, yep, yeah, I can literally get up to them as well. So, I will finish off by moving up to them, ready for the next guy. Okay, let's get in between. And that is Benjin done. Okay. So, Dorotha was... What was she going to do? Basically, I think she's still just staying at the top of there, taking pot shots at things with her... Uh... Oh, the wrong thing to search for a character sheet. Yeah, having survived having uh, a massive rock thrown at the, uh, the tower she was stood on. <laughs> <laughs> so she's going to go for the nearest orc to it, which is this one here, with her heavy crossbow. It's in range, so it's a normal hit. <laughs> uh, and she misses completely. Plink. Ah, that was what the other thing was. Right, she's used five crossbow bolts. That was it. Okay. Imps. Imps, 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 imps. He moved that far, so they'll move there. Do they have a range attack? In fact, no, what happened is this one will go here and it'll set fire to this cart. Nice. Is is it possible to turn the volume of the music down slightly, or yep. is that an yep, individual no, no, no. thing? How's that? Quite yeah, that's fine. Well, I, can't I don't know it. how that was for everyone. It seemed okay before. It seems fine now. All right. I, I don't mind if no if other people can't hear it. Then it's fine. I, <clears throat> okay. Aval. Oh, it's me. Okay, lovely. So I am going to stick with Benjamin. And I'm going to come and charge up to this orc here, this big nasty orc. Uh, and with my long sword, I'm going to wallop him. It's a solid tactic, I would say. 
I, <laughs> I think so. I hope so. <laughs> Let's just get this back. I was just looking something up then. Um, with my long sword. Oh, that's not going to be very good. That's a 12 against an armor um, class of. Oh, I'm going to add them on the character sheet. No, he's wearing full plate armor, so that just pings, just dunk against his armor. Full plate armor, you say. Okay, so <laughs> yeah. uh, with my second attack, I am going to do the exact same thing. <laughs> <laughs> That's oh, a hit. I, why have I got advantage on? Uh, it's but... all right, I'm taking your first one anyway. So. All right. So you do seven damage to the big boy. Getting in between a couple of his armor plates, he managed to cause a nasty wound on his chest. Lovely. Uh, Patch, on the other hand, is going to show me how it's done. <laughs> uh, attacking one of the big bad orcs, he is going to... Because he can't ram them this turn, so... Oh, no, I can't charge, so I'm just going to ram them. So that is unfortunately a miss. Holy that smokes. Bounces mm. off the armor, unfortunately. Okay. Right. Speaking of these bad boys. Um, for my bonus, can I use a bonus action? Uh, do you get two attacks or do you get attack in a bonus action? I get it's two attacks. Two Two attacks for Paladin. Right, okay, so yes, you do have a bonus action. Lovely. In which case, I'm going to use the ability that I've had since level three and have never used it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to abjure enemy. Right. Which means, uh, oh no, that's an action. No, uh, ignore me. Uh, okay. It was it was a very poor cut, copy and paste jobby to my little cards. Okay, never mind. <laughs> okay. Uh, right, these uh, big nasty orcs then. So they make each of the ones makes two attacks against the um, against Patch. Okay. So let's do Patch first. <laughs> so one and two. That's eleven damage to Patch off the first one. And a critical miss uh, for the second. <laughs> and a critical okay. miss for the second. So it's eleven. That's 11. And then the second one was the same. That is patch gum. Hmm. How many more patches have you got? I, if I recall, actually, I believe there's um, a weasel or a giant badger knocking around as well somewhere, but I can't Yeah, remember. didn't that get squished? I would mm. get squished, absolutely. So I've got one more patch until sunrise. Right. <laughs> Send a ferret up a giant's leg. <laughs> Actually, did that, it work last? that ferret was pretty effective last time. <laughs> yeah. It was more effective than all of us last time. <laughs> <laughs> uh, do you oh, notice know, um, Ben Jin called him a ferret, not a weasel? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Right, so this one here is going to move and attack Ben Jin. Okay, so well. you get to, it's a normal attack against Benjamin, isn't it? It is now yeah, a normal attack, yeah. We've got it cancelling so out. He gets two attacks. Armor class 21 and armor class 16. Uh, da, 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 they're both hits. <laughs> so that's. Uh, Benjamin doesn't wear armor. That's 15 slashing damage, but I believe if you're raging, you'll take half of that, won't you? Yeah. So that's seven Plus and. Five. Ten. That's uh, seven and five, yeah. So ouch. Three. And then the other one will attack Haval. Yep. Again. And I'm a class nineteen and then and the critical miss. Oh okay, so one of those has got through just that's uh twelve slashing damage. Crikey. Okay, so Senza. Right, now, where we had left off, I had read the mind of this bugger on the right-hand side. Mm -hmm. 
and he was basically must dig, must find it if memory serves. Yes. Now, as part of my channel divinity read forts, I can, as an action, end it and automatically cast suggestion it without using a spell slot and without it having to make a saving throw. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. all in, in the book you can check god knows <laughs> i just have <laughs> i'll check suggestion just to see what the rules have for that but if you'd like to uh, tell the rest of us what suggestion will so, do the suggestion what? is it's hopeless you'll never find it leave this place and never return <laughs> okay nice. he doesn't get a save he doesn't get a save Oh my god. That's amazing. That's brilliant. <clears throat> so he's it's hopeless, it's not here, leave and never return. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And that lasts for up to eight hours. Hours. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh anything else? Um, as a bonus action, I am going to healing word Benjin at level two. I am just about in range. Mm. Okay. Oh, come on. <laughs> it's eight healing. That's better than the kick yeah. of the bum. Yeah. No, it's nine yeah. healing. Nine healing. Ah, very yeah. Enough. Oh, I see. Yeah. Each level. Cool. Yeah. Thank you. One, two, three, four, five. Nine. Cool. Okay, so so it was it was this one on the right you cast that on, wasn't it? It was, yeah. So his action. So I think we decided that's the he and uh, the other one's the she. It's a she. It's going to be move at um, thirty feet. <laughs> Does it not say anything? No, it it, it well it kind of just slumps its shoulders. Puts its sword down and just kind of just it looks like a bit of like a sullen teenager at this point. <laughs> just, uh. Um in giant, which only you can understand, Benjamin, I understand. Mm. Uh you can hear it go, uh it's pointless, it's not here, it's too deep. And it just troubles off. Uh let me just see how far we'll actually get get to about there then. There we go. And then the other one will kind of look at it and go, like, still digging and kind of think, what's going to him? <laughs> okay, back to Zanhorn. <laughs> so, 10 feet away from where he disappeared, I mean, the moments ago, he reappears. <laughs> <laughs> this is the greatest spell ever. <laughs> <laughs> He's then going to uh, sprint forwards 30 feet, which I think would put him about here. You just see him like jump, dunk, disappear, <laughs> reappear, land. <laughs> <laughs> And then uh, getting close enough to the one in front of him, he is going to cast Phantasmal Force on the one that's still digging. Okay. Oh, I hate this spell. Because <laughs> it's so open to interpretation. Yep. Uh, so I craft an illusion that takes root in the mind of the creature. And what it sees is black tendrils come up out of the ground so the very thing it's digging for has just come out and is starting to attack it so these things are lashing out at it and trying to hurt it okay so it needs to succeed on a spell dc of 15 uh, intelligence investigation check oh it can use its action sorry to examine it so it doesn't get a save to begin with does it no, it's an intelligent it's save. It must make an intelligent saving throw, and then on a failed save, it, this becomes real in its mind. Please fail, please fail, please fail. Yes. Yes. <laughs> so, as far as it's concerned, there's something gribbly has just unearthed itself and is starting to attack it. This wasn't the thing it came to look for. 
<laughs> this is something else. This is something bad. This is something I should probably flee from. <laughs> okay. So there you go. It takes each round. It takes one d six psychic damage. Yes. So, uh, so what your 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 actual phantasmal force is, um, whatever it's doing or around it, these black tendrils coming out of the ground and attacking it. Yeah. Yeah. So they are trying to lash out and attack it to try and essentially push it back. Okay. It doesn't want to be uh, disturbed. <laughs> uh, roll your d six for your psychic damage. Nice. That's not bad at all. If it wasn't a fire giant. <laughs> okay. And then bravely leaping into the air once again. <laughs> like. <laughs> He's totally going to fail it this time. Yep. yep. <laughs> <laughs> he lands in the same plane. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Benjin. Right, uh, which... Have I attacked either of these two? Not yet. Not yet, no. Yeah. Oh, you did. Which one did I... I would have seen you attack, so... Or did you not... Which one did you attack? I didn't, I didn't do any damage, mate, so you just you just go wild. Oh, well, I, I'll, I'll attack the one directly beneath me, then. Uh, it makes sense if it, you attack the one that hit you. Yeah. Turn my rage off, and I will attack uh, recklessly again, obviously. Why is uh, your rage being turned off? Why are you no longer raging? No, no, I am raging. I oh, sorry, okay. I meant. Oh, I've, I've turned the wrong one off. Anyway, I meant I've got to knock one off because I only get a certain number of. Steve, I should turns. add. Uh, that was a concentration uh, spell, which means that the orc right in the middle. What, what I didn't tell you is the uh, little fiery imp thing gave him a kick. <laughs> As okay. you brought past. <laughs> oh. Uh, unfortunately, awake. it has singed the orc slightly as well. <laughs> right. Anyway. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Boom. So that would be nine damage. Uh, um, you have missed. What? You, yeah. Your attack bounces off its plate armour. Full oh. plate armour. Oh, you see, I don't wear armor, so I'm not <laughs> right. Okay, uh, I will attack it. Um, oh, cock, nothing. <clears throat> nope. Do you only have one attack? Sorry, do you only have one attack at level five? Shoot. Oh, no, I've got two. Attacks. I just made two attacks. I missed that completely. Apologies. Wakey, wakey. <laughs> <laughs> right. So that's uh, me done. I'm not gonna. Yeah. I'm not gonna run away from an orc. Is she within range? Yes, she's in range. So she's going for the one that's attacking her. Oh, well. and you <laughs> bastard, Ben. Has a crossbow. <laughs> She gets she a is critical miss. The single worst opponent <laughs> <laughs> on this uh, battlefield. <laughs> She's running out of crossbow bolts as well. <laughs> uh, right, these little things. So now that this uh, this bard has materialised out mm. the ether in front of it, shit, 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 shit. <laughs> <laughs> it was going so well at the end of last. Uh... It was. It gets a critical oh. miss. Oh dear. No, it doesn't. I've no. got the wrong one. Sorry, attack 14. So it's armor class 14. Uh, and my armor class is 15. <laughs> nice. Thunk. <laughs> <I'm> like, <laughs> Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Whereas, uh, what are the other two going to do? The orc is not going to do anything because it's not his turn. But this guy here sees a weedy elf as a bit more his kind of uh, sport. Shit. <laughs> oh, that's 11, so misses. Whereas Phew. this one <laughs> decides that... Ooh, hang on. I'm going to roll dice for them too. Who's going to go after? The big barbarian, <laughs> fighting strong, 
Oh, the cleric standing on his own. The cleric standing on his own. Oh no! The cleric's <laughs> flying, isn't he? The, cler the, the cleric, cleric is flying. flying. Yes. Ah, okay. I forgot about that. Um, <laughs> then in which case, he would, wouldn't think of attacking the cleric because he wouldn't be able to reach him. So yes, he is going to go after Benjin. Benjin's probably more flammable anyway. <laughs> <laughs> with all the booze. All, all, with all that booze, yeah. It's going to go up. It's going to go up real quick. Critical hits! Ooh, fucking hell. 17 fire damage. Uh, so, with that, that oh. one would be with disadvantage, though. Oh, would it? Sorry. Uh, no, it wouldn't. No, it because... wouldn't, because he went reckless. Oh, yes. It, yeah. Cancer was right. out. Hang on. 17, oh, right, so, yeah. fire, 17 damage. fire damage, and Benjamin is now on fire. <laughs> Hang on. So, 17 fire, but that is halved. Do you, do you take resistance on fire damage as well, do you? Hang on, hang on. Have I done something wrong? Probably. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. I, I'm resistant to all damage except psychic. Because okay. I am raging and I am totem spirit bear. Okay. So, so you'll take uh, nine damage. I thought it was always rounded down. No, so it's rounded up. Oh, I thought, oh, okay. All right. I thought it was always rounded down. I thought it was bad. That makes sense why when I was watching Chris. <laughs> um, so, nine. Okay. Yeah. And you are now on fire. So, um, you have to take an action to douse the flames, otherwise, you take 1d6 damage on the end of each of your turns. Hang on, hang on one minute. I've got to cal calculate this. 63, 54. Sorry, say that again. Uh, you are now on fire. Yep. So at the end of each of your rounds, you will take one d6 fire damage. Unless right. you can put the fire out, I assume. Unless someone, unless someone spends an action to um, douse the flames. How would they do that? <laughs> Roll on the floor. Pat you. Pat you down. So there's a Get fountain here. You could. There is, a, there is a well just here. <laughs> That's <laughs> probably not a good right. idea. <laughs> <laughs> So probably what Benjamin will do. <laughs> <laughs> right, how no. well, it's your action. Okay, so um this big bad orc that's in full plate armor that's just just sliced me open with that great axe. I'm gonna stare it in the eye through gritted teeth. I'm gonna tell it that its soul has been weighed and found to be evil and not worthy of this existence. <laughs> and that is my vow of Anemnity, which means I now get advantage against my tax on him. Ah. Yes. <laughs> um, so, advantage mode on, and longsword. I'm going to take a big hack at him. Nice. 18. That's a hit. That's a hit. In which case, because he's pissed me off so much as well, I'm actually going to do my uh, fancy new paladin skill of divine smite. Yes. <laughs> Um, so this is, uh, I get to do some extra damage to him. Nice. Uh, so it's going to expend one of my spell slots, and I'm going to do an extra 2d8 damage to him. Nice. <laughs> so how do I expend a spell slot on roll uh, 20? Just go to the spell slot and press the down arrow. Where, where's, the, where's the down arrow? Uh, so hover over the number. I've, I've gone on to spell. I've gone on to the spell page. Yeah. So this is a roll twenty thing now. And yep. where's the arrow? So have you got like, is this this is a first level or second level spell? Second this level. Is, this is a this is a paladin skill, so it's not actually a spell, but it takes up a spell slot. Okay. So if you've got uh, something saying slots total one, I guess. Uh, spell attack bonus. No, down and left. There's like cantrips should be the top, and then below that there's like oh yes yeah there's like a one in a little uh, icon oh okay thing. yeah okay I see yeah okay I've so got it so slots down and then to the right there's a, a number you can little scrolly bar yeah lovely so yeah I've got three slots remaining and that's <laughs> that done so I need to roll two d eight um yeah just looking at your character sheet I don't think you've got the you have, 
you haven't got your second level spell slot set up properly either, have you? Because you haven't clear, you haven't cast aid or misty step, have you? No, I've not cast either. Of so those. you should have two slots in your second level as well. Oh, okay. Thank you very much. Because you can cast this at a higher level if you want. You can cast divine smite. Yeah. At the second level, which gives you another d8. Would okay. Would we recommend I do that? I've no, I, this is my first time really casting a spell like this, so I don't know. I'm just going to go with two because I can cast it again later that way. Okay. That's that. seven damage. Plus, so you're going to total the original eight. Plus two, that's that's fifteen damage. Yep. Yeah? Yep. Yeah. That's it's dead though, right, Steve? That's dead, right? Hang on, hang on. I need to, I need to work this out. No. Steve, it's it's looking a bit bloody though. Good. You, you've 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 hit it hard with a longsword, and then this golden glow of light hits it hard yeah. in the heavens. Okay. So then, for my second attack, it's just going to be another great big slash across his face. Still with advantage, which misses. Misses. Okay. Steve. Mm -hmm. Before the next go, can I get you to check something? Go on. You got the player's handbook, page seven. Um, it says everything should be rounded down. Well, where did I get rounded up then? I don't know. I thought it should be rounded down. Page seven, right hand side, just at the bottom, says round down. Depends okay. whose turn it is. When it's the DM's turn, he rounds up, and when it's your turn, you round up. No, hang on. <laughs> I thought damage resistance was uh, round up, but okay. Uh, that was Haval. Oh, it's the Orogs now, isn't it? Right, I'll do the Orogs first. So, uh, the one fighting Haval. So, is he fi attacking as normal, is he? He attacks as normal, yeah. Okay, so he gets... Two great Im axe swings at you. At Haval. Armor class 16, armor no, class 13. No. Right, just, just dents the armor, which also really annoys me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Benjamin, are you reckless protected? Am I at advantage or disadvantage attacking you at the moment? Uh, any attacks on me are cancelled out, so you'd be at disadvantage, but being next to ha Harvel, uh, Haval cancels that out. Haval. Right, okay, so it's two attacks normal. So that's armor class 24. <laughs> And I'm class 11, so that's seven okay. slashing damage. First one hits, and it's halved. <laughs> um... Okay. So the other guy is it. Gonna... it just says... Sorry, I'll, I'll look up in it. Just do as it does there. So round down, and then... Round um, down. So that's... Three. So that's three, and then... Uh... We'll check that. So the other guys, these guys are going to sprint like crazy now. Get back in the action. I'll leave the other one as it is, unless you say otherwise. Otherwise, I need to add one back on. Okay, Senza. Okay, I'm going to move my 30 feet over to here and the one which Haval attacked to this bugger he is going to hear the dolorous sound of toll the dead so dc 15 wisdom save wisdom save nice roll on the damage uh, too please save. please don't save please don't save <laughs> Ah, <laughs> ah, and you and as I'm a protector, Asamar, I can add my with my wings popped. I can deal my level and extra radiant damage. So that's uh, eleven necrotic, six radiant. Nice, another six radiant. Okay, okay, and I had Stampy up, and he was about here, but we haven't got a token for. Him. Uh, no, we haven't, have we? No. No, um, he can move 20 feet, so he's going to go here to this little beastie by Zanhorn. No, wait, no, wait, wait. Over to here, and he's going to take a pop. Okay. 
He said silence. <laughs> Quiet in the library. So uh, that's against the events. Who sorry just pinged which like, one? Uh, against one on the right hand side by Zanhorn. And that's Zanhorn class 14, which hits. Yes. Nine force damage. Right. Okay, so um you, you know the, the, the spiritual kind of stamp comes out of the air and materializes and goes, you know, poof, and um it crushes this kind of like weird imp type thing. <laughs> uh, and as it does so, um it explodes with a burst of fire and lava. Oh, no. uh, <laughs> Zanhorn, oh, make God. a DC 11 dexterity saving throw. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> <laughs> Take seven to fire damage. Ouchie. Sorry. Careful what are you doing up there. <laughs> But we've learned an important lesson, though, now, that they explode. I assume that they yes. assume that anyone, including orcs next to them, will also take fire damage. Hmm. Okay, that's fine. That would be right, yeah? Because you get just <laughs> splatted, just splatted lava and fire everywhere all around it. Quite far, actually. Did it get the other one? I guess it did. It did. But it's made of lava and fire, so yeah, it kind okay. of didn't do ah. anything. <laughs> nice try, that. nice try. <laughs> uh, right, uh, this fire giant is still under um, Would it have reached that orc spell? 15 feet away from it? No, 10 feet. Curses. <laughs> Good to know. Good to know. So that one wanders off. This one, still perplexed, carries on digging. Is the one in front of me the one that had the rod before? The one that's just left is the one that had the rod. Yeah. The, the reason rod? I was, I it had a rod that it was trying to... Benjamin said it had a rod that it was. It looked like it was using to work out where these things were. Oh, and okay. Zanhorn was charging after Did them he? to try and nick it. But if the other one's mm. disappeared, he can't really do that. You can chase after it. It's just going off the edge of the map. So. Okay. It's, it, it's not running. It's wandering off kind of dejected with its shoulders slumped. <clears throat> hmm. <laughs> right, Zanhorn, your action. Do I get the impression that if I tried to nick the rod from it, it would in any way affect its current <laughs> condition? Yeah. Uh, what, the one that's ran off? Mm. Uh, no, because it's, it's just kind of stowed its rod and it's, it's just walking off. Not that you'd know of, anyway. Okay. Then, and presumably this one to the left of me is engaged with me, so if I try and run away from it, it's going to try and hurt me. Yes. Can you blink out of existence? Does that still count as disengaging? You disappear onto another plane, so that would be fine. You can't really hit something that's on another plane. However, I would have to get there first. I really wanted to get after this other thing. So, uh, I think what oh. I'm going to do is use my action to disengage. And then I'm going to sprint towards the one that's disappeared to try and uh, lift I've forgotten to think and so have, I've forgotten to think and so have you John the phantasmal force oh yes uh, does that do, when does that do the psychic on, on its turn it can make an investigation check on my turn I can use uh, I can make it uh, I roll a d6 I think it is ah it's your turn okay so it's not going to try and disbelieve it at this point well it's only on its turn anyway so yeah it's right. just had its turn right sorry okay right in which case, uh, I will make it do. An, I'll make one of the tendrils lash out to try and discourage it. Not that it's. So it's. Ooh, crit. Nice. Well, maximally. Okay. Uh, I will use my action to disengage, and then I will charge the full speed that I can go. Which uh, you can't if you use an action to disengage. Good point. I'll take that. <laughs> then I will uh, dash to there. And I'm assuming it's gone, I don't know, somewhere up here? Yep. Uh, and this giant here uh, makes a reaction swing at you. Oh. 
did not realize it could do that. Fuck. It's got a range of 10 feet, basically, because it's got an absolutely huge sword. So as it comes near you, it swings you to bat you out of the way of where it's trying to dig. And then... 31 slashing damage. That's bad. <laughs> so I will <laughs> shout some cutting words at it as it as it does that to try and uh, reduce the damage. Because I obviously can't stop it from hitting me. But I could subtract 8 from its... Uh, up to 8. Do, do, do. So I will... Come on, do the thing. Nope, not that one. <laughs> uh, it's a D8, isn't it? Uh, damage roll. You can use your actions to expend one of your uses of bardic inspiration or the bardic inspiration dice and track the number rolled from the creature's roll. You can choose to use the feature after it makes its roll with the fudge and serves with a tap probability check. Right, okay, so you're doing that on the damage, yep. Yeah, so I'm going to try and shout some words and I'm going to shout, uh, you're, the, you're the reason baby gnomes cry. <laughs> there we go. So I will take four less damage. So you take twenty-seven damage. Mere twenty-seven. <laughs> shit. Shit. <laughs> uh, uh, oh dear, that's not good. <laughs> yep. Uh, and then I will uh, once again leap. Say a wave <laughs> as I do it. <laughs> And yes, <laughs> perfect. <laughs> right, I need to find a symbol which represents you not being invisible. There. Sandhorn. <laughs> yeah, best exemplifies that. A dotted square or something. I reckon the heart, which is black and white heart. <laughs> so you're over there or you're not. So you're not there at the moment, so the fire giant can't attack you and it's its turn. Oh, well, I probably <laughs> needed to um, do a constitution. Yes. DC 10, usually. Shit. You have failed. So which spell was that? That was the Phantasmal Force. It has just ended, yeah. Yeah. So okay. as far as it's concerned, it's all right. As I'm there, can I see like anything at the bottom of the pit it's digging? Yes, you can. You can start to see um, a large strip of metal. Uh, make an intelligence check. Uh -oh. Isn't he in a big hole that the previous giant was digging? But let's say stand on the edge of the big hole at this point. <laughs> Okay, so based on what you've seen in the past, it looks like it could be a giant piece of adamantium. Ooh. Based on the weapons you saw in very long ago in Waterdeep. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Okay, Benjin. What happened when Zanhorn killed the little fire imp? It, uh, Senza killed the fire, fire imp oh, and it exploded Senza. in... Um, Basically exploded in like magma and fire. Yeah. It, it, set, it set Benjamin on fire, and unfortunately, nope. Benjamin was looking the other way. Is is attack the attack sent him on fire? Set him on fire rather than the um, explosion. No, no, no! Didn't the imp set me on fire? A little yes, while the imp ago. set you on fire. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So Benjamin's pissed off with the imp, and he didn't see because he's looking the other way. He's fighting the orc. He didn't see. Mm. You you would have heard you would have heard a, a bang and you would have heard of heard Sanhorn go ah hot 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 <laughs> it burns it burns right. I don't know anyway um, first attack he's blatantly going to do it uh, recklessly again uh, let's turn me rage down again um, and he's going to attack the orc in front of him because he fucking hates orcs and he's getting fed up with this one. Okay. Oh, hang on. It was supposed to be with an advantage. Let me do a second one. That's more like it. Yeah, that's, that's better. Like like it. It. 19, so nine... does that hit? Yeah, that's a hit. So that's What's your rage 11 bonus? damage. 2, so it's 11. Um, okay. Assuming you're taking one from the second roll. And with his second attack... Um, 
Oh, God. Keep going, Keep going. I know, but he's on fire. No, but he hates orcs. He absolutely hates orcs. He would he would <clears throat> probably still hit the orc. So that's another 11 damage. Nice. Good nice. work. And he just goes... <laughs> <laughs> okay, and you take... Oh, two yeah. Six damage. Want me to do it? Yeah. Oh, 2d6. Oh, no, I thought it was 1d6. No, it's 2d6. Um, what? Sorry, I just put... What? Hang on, hang on, hang on. 1d6, sorry. Yes, yeah. you're right. 1d6. 6 damage. Oh, oh I, I thought I was going to take the first one, which is 2. So, that's yeah. 3. <laughs> <laughs> 3 damage. 1, 2, 3. 3. Okay. But we're rounding... Have we decided we're rounding down? Have we? Yeah. Yeah, that's what I thought. I was I was adamant it was rounded up. I'm sure I read that somewhere. No, I've done some Google searches while we've been playing, and it all, it's all saying rounding down. Even with damage resistance. Yeah. Okay. So where I got that from then? We've been playing like that for ages. Um, where are we? Where are we? Where are we? Uh, is the that most your both? useless fighter board. Uh, right. Zaratha is going to fire that crossbow again. And misses. <laughs> oh dear. In a minute, Ben's going to get his heavy crossbow out and take her out of her misery. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, uh, the f f fire imps. Right, so you're not there, so this one will attack uh, Benjin again. Do I get doubly on fire? No, you can't, so. Right. Oh, there's a bright side. Uh, attack seven, the no, other one. This is. Um, we'll start, we'll, we'll do a sprint over here, but he's not going to be able to attack. He's going to come over here. Aval! Um, because I'm still angry at this orc, especially after he's put some great big dents in my armor. Uh, again, still with advantage because he is now my sworn enemy. Miss. Um, what is his armor class? 18. 18. Yes, same as me. I uh, think that second one hits and screaming a rage filled prayer to Helm, you smite him. Lovely. Yes. Um, and for my bonus action. Oh, no. <laughs> I got greedy. I got greedy. It really. Got really... <laughs> I really should have just so left it. Grab a ball of fluff out of the bag and make a weasel, isn't it? It's a giant rat. It's a giant rat. <laughs> it's not quite as bad as a weasel. No. <sighs> well, I'm still going to have sea shanty weasel. Okay, and then I shall um, command. Um, so I'm going to throw him. And I think that's all that happens this turn, is he just appears. Yeah, okay. Hopefully I can do that. Yeah, where are you throwing him to? Can you, if, uh, hang on a second. Uh, I'd probably just throw him in front of me. Let me just, can you control that or not? Yeah, I've just moved it. Yeah, okay, fair enough. Uh, da, 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 right, the orcs, 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 orcs. Right, this one here, are you still flying, are you, uh, Senza? I am indeed. And how high are you? Um, I was only going to be about 10, 15 feet. Okay. So if he's so, got a crossbow, he hits me. He's got a javelin. Oh. He's got a javelin and it has a range of 30 feet short range. So I'm going to say he's got disadvantage actually. Because mm -hmm. you're just on the edge of that. So orc, disadvantage, javelin. Oh, miss. Miss. <laughs> Um, but then these bad boys start moving up to attack. 
Right. Um, I believe this one here has got a javelin as well, but he's going to get a wee bit closer. Yeah. Yep. That's that 22 for seven piercing damage. <clears throat> Okay. You can see he's bigger, stronger, and more accurate than his uh, than the other orc. Whereas the other two orcs are gonna just wail into Haval and Benjin. So Haval first. So that's a a twenty one nine slashing damage. Nine Jeez. slashing damage. And then Benjin. I believe that's two misses. Looks like it. If anybody could spare some action, yes. And... Sorry, <laughs> forgot I was muted. <laughs> just, just, just to, just to help my, uh, just health out a little bit. I'm bleeding quite yeah. heavily. Okay, I'll do my best. <laughs> <Not> just... <alone. laughs> <laughs> if you uh... can't do it, I can do it myself. But um, I'm, if 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 I don't hit them, then um, then I'm just going to get hit some more. Yeah. All right. Okay. Um... It is over to me now, isn't it? Yes. I believe. Okay. I believe I need to make a concentration check for um, suggestion. Uh, yes, because you took damage, didn't you? Yes. Yes. Boom. Well, that's fine. Phew. Yes. So, oh. they've both. I, I'm going to do. do that close to my About 30 feet. That's fine. Is Haval bleeding pretty badly, can I see? Uh, he is looking quite uh, worn and bloodied, yeah. yeah oh. I, have, I have 18 of my 53 hit points. Okay, uh, 18, 53rd. So we are going to have to go for the healing word at level 3, I think, then, which is the best I can do at the moment. Wow, if that's cool, that'd be really helpful. So if that's 14. Okay. Okay. So not that it's a competition, but Sandhorn's down to eleven. <laughs> what are you right? <laughs> but he was, could that, not... was that a helicopter flying? Yeah, over? I, I, I've yeah. just stopped that music. Yeah, I thought it was a uh, <laughs> generic battle, but it had a helicopter in it. I thought, oh, we don't want that one. Then. <laughs> Must have been a big dragonfly or something. <laughs> okay, and the Orog who's taken damage for one in front of Benjin, I am yep. going to toll the dead on. So again, DC 15. Uh, DC 15, wisdom save. Wisdom. No. Yes. So I can add my six radiant to that. So he takes 17 damage total. Nice. Nice. And I'm going to move to kind of about here. Okay. Right, the fire giants will carry on digging now that the thing he's digging is not trying to slap him back. Slap her back, sorry. <laughs> Can it, how far is it getting? That like, is it starting to get some edges? Like, it might be able to pick it up soon, or? Um, you think uh, it's <laughs> it's got more than half of it uncovered at this point. You can see that you can see this thing has got a definite shape. It's like a, it's like some kind of band, like a semicircle in shape. And it's from what you can see, it's uncovered quite a lot of this at the moment. Okay. Uh, then the other one, because the suggestion spell has ended, it didn't end. It didn't end. Oh, it didn't, it didn't end. So I, ma I made my off. my save. How it's still struggling off? How so far away is it now? Um, how many turns has it been? Uh, this is the third, I think. Third, so it'll be, yeah. it'll be 90 feet away at this point. Oh, no, it'd be 60 feet off map. So if I there sprinted for 60, then the following turn I'd be able to reach it. Uh, mm -hmm. If I sprinted, but I wouldn't be able to have any actions left. Yeah. Ah, shit. Uh, Sandhorn. Right. Realising that as much as it would be useful to find out what was going on with that one, this thing here is still digging and it's almost found something. And he kind of feels like he ought to do something about that. Mm -hmm. uh, so thinking about what would look the most heroic and double-checking <laughs> whether anyone's <laughs> looking first. 
Uh, you need to blink back into existence first yeah, and yeah. choose where you're blinking back in. So, last time uh, it did a reaction and hit me. Mm -hmm. Do I think that if I blinked back into existence, it would still be able to do that? Um, it's basically, it was attack of opportunity because you'd moved through its engagement area. So if you appear in its engagement area? No, it's when you when you move through. So if you just appear, you'd be fine. And if I attack it, we're then engaged? Or is it only if it's attacked me? No, 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 no. Engagement is just within reach. So if you move while within reach, they get an attack of opportunity. Gotcha. Engage, it uses the engagement occasionally that confuses matters. You're not... There's no engagement and non-engage, if that makes sense. It's okay. basically whether it's in range. Gotcha. Then, not wanting to be on the wrong side of things, I will reappear right in front of him. Literally, wherever it thinks it's looking, that's where Zanhorn will just be like... <laughs> and as he does that, he will have just jumped lightly in the air so that he lands coming down. And as he lands, he'll like smash his hand on the floor and cast Thunder Wave. <laughs> Good stuff. Nice. That hasn't appeared on mine for some reason. No, not on mine either. No. Nope. I made it good. My Thunder Wave's broken. <laughs> <laughs> doop, 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 doop. Each creature in a 15 foot cube originating from me must make a constitution saving throw. I did not think this through. <laughs> <laughs> constitution saving throw. Yeah, that may have been a bad idea. Oh dear. Yeah. <laughs> Zanon will like look up triumphantly and then go, oh shit. <laughs> As this thunder wave just kind of like and blows the giant's hair slightly back. <laughs> oh, God. oh dear. Oh dear. Uh, right. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> if I run, it's going to hurt me, isn't it? Well, it might miss. <laughs> Seeing the error of his ways, <laughs> thinking there's probably not much. So it's either going to get beaten to death in a pit or die running away. So. <laughs> <laughs> he figures he might as well try die running away. <laughs> so I will try and run back towards my buddies. Oh, no. That went so horribly wrong. <laughs> so wrong. Okay, oh. so it makes a switch. It tries to swat you like. Um... I'm gonna try and get to there. <laughs> it's gonna, it's gonna, tr it's gonna like try and swat you like it would like an annoying fly. Um... Oh god, I don't, I don't even want to press this button, but here goes. Oh dear. Oh, that is uh, that is unfortunate. <laughs> that's Are you down. That, so, but that's it's, it's I'd more imagine than down. so. That's, that's you're more... not instant death, are you? So yeah, how that's... far away would I have got? You wouldn't have got. You wouldn't have got anywhere. Okay, so Zenhorn reappears, <laughs> like makes a <laughs> thump on the floor, <laughs> looks up, shits himself. <laughs> <laughs> Punk, and then just collapses <laughs> on the floor. Just, just yeah, splat. He... Yeah, he's just on the side of the pit next to this adamantium thing. Out. So how does how is instant death? That's if you get to zero and there's still as many hit points as your maximum hit points are. Is yes. that right? right? So if he'd have taken enough to take him to negative what his maximum was. Right. I so see. His maximum. Yeah. I think John's maximum is forty five. So if so you're taking enough to take him to minus forty five. I right. died, died. <laughs> okay. But that's, that's only at the point... At, or do you carry on taking... Do You you don't carry on accumulating, do you? No, because he goes to zero now. Yeah. Um, you, you either get minus, minus your total, which means you die instantly, or you go yeah. to zero. You never go to negative points, yeah. but zero, you then start making death saves no. on your turn. No, but what I'm asking is, can the giant, in theory, like impale his sword on him while he's down and get? Yeah, it's an attack roll while he's down. Uh, it's an automatic uh, crit, right. and uh, John loses two death saves if he does. Ooh, right, cool. 
We Did the Thunder Wave not do any damage at all? Does it do half damage on a save? Oh, good point. Uh, uh, uh. On a failed save, it takes... Oh! I know, on a failed, yeah, yeah. On a successful save, it takes half as much damage but isn't, and isn't pushed, sorry. Okay, so what damage did it do? Uh, it would do mm, 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 half of 2d8. So... It would do four, five, four, four sir. Four. <laughs> what a pitiful way to die! <laughs> it was almost looking really heroic. <laughs> oh shit! Someone's got to get over there to him. Blink, blinks into existence. Uh, yeah, yeah. Hits I can... the wave and then gets swatted like a pesky. Is... I can heal him, but I think the giant might go between <laughs> after me healing him and before he can run away. Benjin, mm -hmm. that's your action. Right. Oh, dear. These bastard orcs. Um... Should have kept running. Yeah. <laughs> right. The one in front of me again. Again, again. Timber windows open. Front edge. Boom. Ooh. Oh, great. Yeah, don't. Uh, right, that one's dead. <laughs> <laughs> that one is dead. So that would have been. Oh, it was a bit crap, though, wasn't it? But, okay. Uh, and then with the. You got Sorry. your rage damage to go on top of that as well. Yeah. So is that already taken the crit into account? That nine yes. and eight. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That's two dice right. rolls. Yeah. Oh, okay. I see. Uh, and then I will take. Obviously, uh, I'll take a second attack on the other one. Then. Okay. Which uh, misses. Not enough. Great. Okay. So right, is she going to be able to hit anything? Let's see. That is she within range? Seems unlikely. <laughs> she's still in range, and she's still got three crossbow bolts left. So she's going to shoot at this thing. <laughs> Critical hit! <Yay! Yay! laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. I'm, I'm, I'm actually going to cheat a little bit there, and I'm going to make her do the full damage that she would have done, which would be 10, because I think that's fair. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take the, right uh, the weighted. No. Left a bit? No. Right the weighted a bit more. <laughs> <laughs> she's, she's finally got a gist of the wind for the velocity, you know, adjusting for distance and <laughs> gets the Oregon in the back of the head. Doesn't kill it, mind you. It's enough to piss it off, though. <laughs> no. Right, the Magnum Magmims. Uh, one against Tavar. Oh, uh, Benjin ticked your fire damage. Oh, yeah. How much? Uh, it is D six, isn't it? Well. And that gets that gets halved, so that's zero. Yes. <laughs> oh, but he might just on fire. <laughs> Benjamin's still so angry; he hasn't even noticed he's on fire yet. <laughs> no, nah, Benjamin just doesn't give a shit about the fire. <laughs> right. He just thinks so... it's going to add. The, the burns will just add some like scars with the bear scars and the tattoos and stuff like that. Right, the Magnum's attack uh, Haval and Benjin, and both of them miss. Haval! <laughs> They're more uh, dangerous okay. when you kill them. <laughs> <laughs> That's actually quite true. Um, so I'm going to... Um, I'm just going to hit this one with my longsword, because he, he hasn't... Have I been injured by this orc yet? Um, yes. Yes, you have. Yes, in which case I am going to frothing at the mouth and <laughs> staring. Fucking bastard orc, I'm going to get you. Uh, which is also my vow of animity. So. <laughs> Slightly <laughs> more uh, animal than sometimes. <laughs> yeah, I've, I've, I've got a few of them. So, uh, mm -hmm. and with advantage. Benjamin gives him a little look at the swearing. <laughs> <laughs> what is it? A look and a. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so nothing with the first one just clatters off him. I'm too busy pointing my finger and wagging. Um, <laughs> I do that one, and again I'll expend another spell slot to use my divine might. Okay. Uh, 
Thunk. <laughs> thunk. <laughs> Yeah, that's... So he's got, um, what, 23, is that? 23 damage. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> so he's much damage. flattened by this light. <laughs> so much damage, Rory's had to stand up to roll that one. <laughs> it's a bit like when you concentrate on a really heavy Euro. Thanks, <laughs> thanks, John. Yep. <laughs> okay, there's only one Oreg left. Are you still flying, Paul? I am, yes. Right. And he's it, already chucked a javelin at me. It has, yes. So he's going to have to go go for um, to for Benjin now. <laughs> Bring it on. What's your armor class, Benjin? Uh, oh, I just shot should, him should, in there. Should I, I should have it here. I so I reckon 15. it's 15. So that's yeah. uh, 16 slashing damage. So, so 8. Oh, eight yeah. yeah. Uh, ah! Orc here, what's he gonna do? Um, he looks at he lo the orc, looks over here at the downed uh elf and decides he doesn't have to worry about that, and so he heads in as well. And uh, he takes a swing at Benjamin as well. So, what's that that's just come in? That's just the normal orc. Oh, what's the other one? Ooh, a big black orc. orc, big bad orc. Yeah, small, small squishy orc. <laughs> <laughs> All right. If, if fiery, fiery and important. effective things. <laughs> yes. Okay, uh, center. Sorry, did I take anything there or not? Uh, no, because it's. Uh, yes, you would have done. Yes, you would have taken four damage after your resistance. Sorry. I had disadvantage on which you shouldn't have had. Oh, no, you should have had disadvantage. So you missed. Yes. I thought. Benjamin was reckless last term, so oh, he would have been in neutral. So yes, he <laughs> yeah. would have taken. Yes, he, he would have taken for slashing damage after it had been rounded down. Right. How much punishment could one man take? Yeah. <laughs> a lot more than a half elf, that's for sure. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> a, Benjamin's um, still fine. It's merely a flesh wound. Yeah. When that fiery thing exploded, did mm -hmm. I see how much damage it did? You saw it was quite a bit, yeah. It was sort of quite burny. Ah, uh, right. Is it in a circle? Would everyone get hit by it? Yeah, it, like, <laughs> it quite, quite literally just exploded and spewed like splashed lava everywhere. Okay. I'm on fire anyway. Give it a go. <laughs> <laughs> Not sure if I was uh, would uh, hold yeah, with that sentiment. I'm not on fire. Uh, I'm not on fire. <laughs> no, I'm yet. I think. <laughs> No, I'm going to try and fling a guiding bolt at Ben. No, I, th I think it's a tactically sound That's... idea. I think smite Ooh. one of the little fiery things. Shoot him! Well, <laughs> I've just hit this thing now. All right, okay. For, For 16. 16 damage. That's nice. not bad at all. That's very and good. I can add my plus six on top of that, so 22. <laughs> 22? <laughs> Bloody hell. And okay. the next person to attack it has advantage. Okay. Better up, Benjin. And <laughs> bonus action. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to move up to about here. Just let me check the range on healing word. Oh, yeah, 60 feet, so that's fine. I'm going to healing word Zanhorn at third level. Um, so healing word, healing word. Where is healing word? So that should bring him back. I'm going to look up. Oh, not again. <laughs> <laughs> and I just scream, get out of there! Okay, you finished? Yes. Yeah, the fire giant ignores the suddenly breathing Zanhorn and carries on digging. <laughs> Wow, okay. Uh, Sandhorn, you have an action because you're no longer bleeding out. Hmm. <laughs> Disengage. <laughs> <laughs> How little you know, Sandhorn. <laughs> Not. I've got too many spells that are constitution saving throws. <laughs> uh, uh, uh. Ah, however. Uh, 
fire giants probably aren't very wise, are they? Probably not. Probably not. It's worth a go. <laughs> so coming to seeing this thing and not thinking the sensible thing to do would be to run away, he panics. <laughs> <laughs> and instead, and instead, uh, starts to cast a hypnotic pattern in the air. <laughs> okay. Okay. So between him and the giant, because it's a thirty-foot cube. Yeah. So I assume. So the pattern just appears. <laughs> yep. And go. And go. Draw shape. I can be the purple for a hypnotic cube. So two, four, six. One, two, three. Oh crap! Four, five, six. There you go. That's the hypnotic pattern. Okay, okay, good. And um, he needs to take a wisdom save, doesn't he? He does. DC fifteen. Twenty-one. That's agility. Oh no, ability. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> However, now being conscious, presumably, he might blink out. He might. <laughs> <laughs> so having cast that, it's like, God damn, mother. <laughs> Disappears. <laughs> he blinks to the moon. <laughs> Okay, right. So hypnotic pattern. No, vanishes. Each creature in the area who sees the pattern must make a wisdom save and fail to the creature to spend enchanted duration. Spell ends for an effective creature who takes damage of someone else using it. Right, so that that actually doesn't happen, does it? Because it only pays there for a moment. Yeah, it was like a. Okay. But it just looked at it and it was like. (laughs) Deep. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) Basically. Yeah, so that goes. Okay. This is the least effective Zanhorn has ever been. <laughs> and you've been really ineffective on occasion. <laughs> I mean, he's, the, the bar is low. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Benjin. Right. Great so. Fiery Benjin. Yep. Yeah. Now, uh, I don't need to do it um, recklessly this time because he's already. Yes. I get advantage anyway, which means, though, it. Uh, yeah, so I get advantage on that one. Okay. It's oh, a miss. It's a miss. Uh, and if I attack him a second time, is it still at advantage or is he advantage? No, no it... let me double. Go on. Yeah, I think usually it's just not. the next attack. It's usually the next attack, yeah. Just in the next attack. Okay, so I will attack him again. And... Um, da, 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 sorry, oh, wanky, my wank face. <laughs> Fucking orcs uh, <laughs> is in such a rage with him that he just swipes left, swipes right, and misses both times. Right, she's now gonna cheese it out the tower because you're now blocking her view to the oryx. Yeah. <laughs> Um, now I gotta take. Back in a sec, guys. Oh yeah, one d six. Ah, now question. Um, my rage lasts one minute, which is basically ten rounds. Yes. So that was my last rage turn. Okay. I don't. It doesn't say anything about whether it lasts till the end of my turn and the next round or what. I presume I just... that it's still effective. Um, but I don't it's, know. It's still your turn, isn't it? You're taking the damage in your turn. Yes. And you're still yeah, raging. Yeah. yeah. Is the way I'd read it. I'd read it until the beginning of your next turn. Yeah, you're still. Yeah. Okay, cool. Raging. I can double That's check, fine. though. Where's the sword? If it ends earlier, you're not too conscious of you. Yeah, it doesn't say. I would assume it lasts to the end of the turn. That's what most I'd things, say that most as well. Things do. Because yeah. I've been counting it from the start of the turn. Otherwise, you count the first go, you would knock it down at the next one. Yeah. Right, so the little Magnum so, yeah. Devil will attack Benjamin, but he's now at disadvantage. Is that right? Oh, yes, he would be. Yeah. So he attacks Benjamin and hits. Yep. 
And the other one attacks a Val. 14. Did we do your fire damage, actually? Ben? No, you didn't. No. Ba -ba 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 -ba. So I thought that's what you're talking about. So two fire damage. Two. It's now Haval's Come turn. Come on! <laughs> Sorry? Now Haval's turn. Now Haval's... Okay, I'm um, I'm going to concentrate on the biggest threat, which this I recognise as, <laughs> as the orc. So um, the regular orc that's right behind me, normal attack. Regular orc, regular orc. <laughs> a long sword to the face. Which I believe is a hit. Yes, because only wearing hide armor. Mm -hmm. And then uh, following through, backhand swipe. Yeah. Critical miss. Which means I hit Benjin. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not that ben cruel. <laughs> Benjin dodges and he just slightly shaves Benjin as he. Uh... <laughs> He suddenly has a bald patch on part of his beard. <laughs> I don't um, believe in um, critical fumbles, so I'm not doing that. <laughs> oh, could you talk to Andy, please? <laughs> oh, I've had that argument with him in the past oh. a few times. It's more fun for it's him just... to insist that you've thrown your weapon away for the 15th time. <laughs> 15, yeah. <laughs> and with my bonus action, I'm going to command Patch to do the old favourite, <laughs> rat up the trouser leg. <laughs> <laughs> Zanhorn's about enough. to be massively upstaged. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you what, this is a fight and a half. It's quite normal for Patch, that, isn't it? Yeah, yeah this is this is standard behaviour. Right, so the orc will attack Haval. Mm -hmm. So he gets one attack Brilliant. from his great orcs. Okay, that, that, you brought it. And then the orc will attack Benjamin, but gets disadvantage on both attacks. Yep. Yeah. Correct, using my reaction. So a 17 and a 10. And the 17, 17 hits. hits, so you take 4 damage after rounding. 4 damage. Ben's Sends getting it. a little tired, but he's still taking it. Okay, how are you, how are you looking, boys? Uh, I think, I I'm think fine. I, can, I can handle another couple of rounds of combat against these losers. Yeah. Okay. In that case, then, <laughs> bonus action. Uh, so, bonus action. Stampy was around here. So, yeah, 20 feet. I'm going to move yeah. Stampy up to the Giants and have a pop. And miss. <laughs> yep. And then I, myself, I'm going to go down to about there. Yeah, that's fine. I'm going to toll the dead on the old. Okay. DC 15, wisdom saving throw. Okay. Right. For some reason, I closed the org stat window. That was clever. Not quite sure why I did that. Wisdom saving throw. Yeah. Oh, should be on disadvantage, but never mind. It still doesn't matter. He takes five damage. Five. Yep. Well, and I can add my six radiant to that. Okay, so it takes 11 damage in total. Okie doke. Okay, and that's be done. Right. Fire Giant keeps on digging. It ignores Haval. Uh, sorry, it ignores Zanhorn and carries on digging. It's nearly Ooh. there. It's nearly there. Zanhorn, you're alive. I am alive. <laughs> and you can, you're, But you're still you're in the ether at the moment. You can pop back into existence if you wish. It's not, it's not a question of whether I wish it or not. You see him materialise again, this time at a run, heading back towards you guys. Uh, unfortunately, a lot of my spells are not well suited to fighting fire giants, it turns out. Uh, so, the best thing that he's managed to do so far was distract it a bit with the Phantasmal Force. So, as he sprints away... <laughs> Here, he levels his eyes at the uh, the fire giant once again. Uh, so we'll say <coughs> we will do that, and it needs to succeed again on an intelligence save. Come on, do something useful for once, Sanhorn. <laughs> Motherfucker! <laughs> it's a 
good roll that was. These giants, these giants have had phenomenal. Except that once where they had to walk off. But yeah, <laughs> <laughs> you have you have reduced the giant strength by fifty percent. I'd like to point that out. He's now at the other end of the village. You know, still looking rather <laughs> depressed and sorry for himself. <laughs> it's been uh, over seven hours of there before he just, just snaps out of it. <laughs> He's going to have jumped off a cliff before he reaches seven hours. <laughs> yeah, so Zanhorn's going to sprint to give himself some distance between the damn thing and end up over there. And then, funnily enough, <laughs> <laughs> uh, he'll skid to a halt, level his eyes at him, and stay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, still mustering under his breath, like this is this was the best spell. It's not the wor- it's not the best spell. It's the worst awful spell. It's the best spell. It's the awful spell. <laughs> <laughs> ben- oh, is it Benjin's go? It is Benjin. Can I so- can I shout at Benjin an instruction as to what I think he should do? Yeah. Well, actually, you can because. Benjamin has just sort of he's calmed down a bit. He's, he's stopped frothing at the mouth it, now. <laughs> you just see it drain from him for a split second uh, as he sort of calms down for us. So there's a small window of opportunity shouts at him. You, but you don't know it's a small window of opportunity. Right, so you just grab, see him the, by, grab him by the shoulder, drain, grab him by the yeah. shoulder, and tell him to get back and shoot the fiery ones. Get back, shoot the fiery ones, go. But if I get back and shoot them? Yes, don't shoot them while you're in combat so you won't get hit by the fire. Yeah, but the thing is, I'll, I'll get an attack of opportunity from like five things. <laughs> oh. Benjamin is yeah, I... unusually wise. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. Benjamin is wise. He's not intelligent. True. That's true. That is true. I yeah. am a lot more wise than I am intelligent. I'm... Okay, go for I the fire. Know. Right. I'm just thinking we should go for the fiery ones. Is that what you're shouting at me? I think we should go for the fiery ones. Right. They'll explode and hurt the orcs, but we'll get hit. So my thought was to get to get you out of the radius. But yeah, they will. They'll attack you as you disengage. Yeah. So so Benjamin hears this, and Benjamin hates, so he doesn't like the idea of not fighting the orcs. But he, I think he's going to take on board the fact that if they explode, they're going to hurt the orcs. Okay. So, um, and then he goes literally. He just goes bang straight back into a rage again. Once I heard that, he is he is just raging again. So he is raging. He is reckless. So whilst, um, whilst feeling calm, he carefully ignored the advice <laughs> and then went <laughs> mental again. Actually, how did no, Benjamin see? Did Benjamin see the? Uh, fire imp explode was it did he was he particularly uh, armored or would, did he explode would, quite easy you would have known that he exploded it didn't seem to take much damage before it exploded Go on. so i might not do it recklessly um let's take no fuck it let's let's yeah re- he's 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 in a rage around. so the one on the top right he will go for first okay and he will just go whack so what's your rage bonus add to that? Uh, nine. Okay, so yeah, with one just like, ah! <laughs> you slice it down the middle and it explodes all around you. Um, everyone within 10 feet has to take a DC 11 dex save. Benjin, because of your barbarian abilities, you saw it, so you get advantage on the saving throw. Ooh, nice. I get advantage on the... Because of your um, because it's it's an dexterity saving throw from a source you know, right? Haval's made it. How do you make a source I know? Oh, because I was the you one that attacked. Attacked. Yeah, because you because it happened in front of you. You saw it explode, and so you know to dodge out of the way, so you get advantage. Right, it's, your, it's, one, it's one of your barbarian what? abilities. Oh, was it? Yeah. Oh, my danger sense. Yes, that's the one. You have a spider sense, and you've never used it. Yeah, he's just ignored it. He's been too angry. <laughs> but what about the fact that I? Uh, yeah, but we haven't really had. I haven't had many saving throws. It's it's a deck save from a source you can see. So yeah, if it happened in front of him. You get advantage on it. Yeah. Anyway, what about though, the fact that I I was reckless? So that would cancel it out. No, and it doesn't matter. 
Stop trying oh, to right. ruin your day. The DM okay. said you're all right. Okay. Right, I got 14. <laughs> is that good? Yes, that's good. Right, you both take half damage, which is going to be... Say so three for eight. me. So you both take half of that. Then Benjin will take half of that again. So Benjin takes two damage. How do I uh, halve it twice? Because you have it because you made the save, and you yeah. have it because you have resistance. <laughs> All right, fair enough. There we go. <laughs> that was fine then. Fucking right. that one up. So, basically. or still, uh, Benjamin still has one attack left. He's got I've two still attacks. Got left. Attack. Hang on, we haven't finished. Oh, yet. oh sorry. Yes, as well. Right, the Orog makes his save. Bitch. Uh, so it takes four damage, and the Orc. Oak, 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 which I've bloody closed for some reason. I don't know why I did that. Bear with me for the briefest of moments. Makes a deck save. And also passes. Everyone saw it happen. (laughs) (laughs) Missed. (laughs) However, the orc kind of like expecting the the orc expecting the attack of Benjin. Turns in surprise and then gets a face full of uh, of lava, which melts his face off. <laughs> nice, <laughs> nice. Oh, oh man! So, so we're, that we're... one's dead as well. Yeah. Oh, see, I think that was a good plan. Hang on. Oh, it's reappeared. Oh. No, it was dead. Oh, yeah, hang on. No, it's, it's me. He's brought it's it back. Was it the other one that was dead? <laughs> Was it, was it the other one that was dead? No, 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 no. It's, I, I, the initiative went off because he died. Sorry, carry on. Cool. Right. So, um, with that success, Benjamin's going to attempt the same with the other fiery little fucker. Okay. And... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Same thing happens. Six, Make saves, please. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. Oh, okay, that was so a good save, ben. Have, uh... <laughs> right, the <laughs> wow. Basically, <laughs> so what did I take there? Um, you three. Take, uh, three. You took one. You halved again, so you took one damage off that. Sandhorn's been watching. Am I still on fire, though? Yes, you're still on fire. fire. Yeah, you're still on fire. So you still take your D6 fire damage from that, which is two. So you take a point of damage from the fact you're still on fire. (laughs) Benjin is literally just like, fire! (laughs) And he just holds his hand aloft. (laughs) Um, As if he's a fire god. (laughs) Even though they're burning him. So let's he, just get this straight. Feels with, that's, this is going to be a mark of like one of his tattoos. With with two attacks, Ben, you've just taken out four enemies. <laughs> <laughs> Sandhorn's watching this from the other plane, like motherfucking fucking. fucking. <laughs> <laughs> Who needs a motherfucking sorcerer? <laughs> Good question. Yeah. <laughs> right, she's going to sprint into the yard. She's going to sprint to there. Uh, Haval. Right. I am, um, after two exploding lava pixies, I'm actually almost dead. So, um, (laughs) (laughs) I, for one action, (laughs) lava pixies, technical turn, I'm going to use my lay on hands as an action and touch myself to make myself feel better. Oh, the old jokes are the best. Oh, he touched himself. <laughs> Sandhorn hums to himself from another plane. <laughs> Where you're, fortunately, you're no not, one can hear him. <laughs> you're not on the other plane, John. You failed. You didn't get the save. Remember? <laughs> I, I blinked in the last one. No, you didn't. You did. you no, you're right. You're right. <laughs> <laughs> you just stood there singing in the middle of the battlefield. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing new there. <laughs> um, okay, and so for my next action, I'm going to put the flames out on Benjin. Okay. Uh, pat the oh. fire down. Is, is lay on hands a bonus action? Is it? No, so lay on hands is my action. Oh, right. do I? I you need to, got, no, I it needs two a, actions. No, you get one action, which be your f- attack action allows you to do two attacks. 
Ah, okay. No, in which case I really need to heal myself. He can. Yeah, yeah. that's fine. <laughs> okay. I then command command patch. Well, come at, uh, he's actually still following his duties. He's running up towards the uh, giant. Still, he's just in front of him now. That's it. Okay. Uh, Senza. Okay. How are the boys looking? Anyone needs healing? <laughs> Five hit points. <clears throat> but I can keep my distance. <laughs> okay. Um, how far away are I? Yeah, that's fine. So, yeah, you're going to... Oh, Z- no, Zanhorn will yell at you. I'm fine. Don't worry about me. Get the giant. He's nearly there. He's nearly got it. Okay, and yeah, because I can't cast actually cast two spells in one round turn, I'll do what I was going to do with a giant and cast commands if I can find my spell sheet. He's got way more useful spells. I've chosen poorly. <laughs> <laughs> I get to choose a lot of spells. Um, and my command word is stop. Okay, so what's it's- it save? Uh, wisdom save. Wisdom mm. save. Uh, I can turn. I can, I can close a couple of windows now. Fire giant. Wisdom save. It yes. failed. What the, okay. What the f- <laughs> that happens for one round. <laughs> so, right, Patch is there. Patch has got him next turn. Okay, <laughs> so the giant just stops digging. <laughs> Zanhorn. <laughs> oh dear. If I smack it, if I smack it, is it going to start again? <laughs> I'll yell across. Um, I think you can smack it now. <laughs> yeah, then doing some one of the few things that often does actually work. <laughs> uh, and assuming that everyone else is going to wail on it much more effectively than Zanhorn possibly could. <laughs> Uh, he is going to yell at the giant from a nice safe distance here. (laughs) (laughs) Ah, hideous fiend! Oh, no, wait, you're just ugly. (laughs) And it takes uh, eight psychic damage. If it fails, it's... Motherfucker! (laughs) 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 Absolute mother... Fucker! <laughs> God damn it! Now isn't this working now? <laughs> <laughs> this giant is going to give Zanhorn a complex. Oh yeah, <laughs> just, just, what, he, he's already given it. Yeah. <laughs> Benji. So is that a, what is that over on the right hand side? Is that a fountain? It's a well. So if I you run can, over to the you, well, you, you can spend an action to just douse, to put the flames out. All oh, right, but that takes an action. Yeah. Yeah. Well, what else out. are you going to do with your action? Oh fuck it! I'm going. I'm going to pull out my um, heavy crossbow and take a punt at the. Um... Benjamin's just going to take the flame and he'll, he'll have a go at the uh, the giant. Well, Val's really put him out. So. No, no, he hasn't. I didn't. I, no, I, didn't I, touch, I touched myself. Well, you touched yourself. That's right. <laughs> Boom. Nine piercing damage. Eleven piercing. Eleven piercing. Okay. Yeah, because I'm raging. But obviously you need to roll. Oh, and your fire damage, yep. Yeah, my D6 fire damage. <laughs> One. One. That was probably better than uh, using a, a turn to get in a pond. <laughs> um, Benji's right. just taking the fire. He's just like, yeah, whatever. He's probably smelling a little bit like roast pork at the moment. I'm going to say that. <laughs> yes, she is going to move up to there and she's going to take a pot shot with her crossbow. What could possibly go wrong? She's obviously going to hit. No. She should have fucking put me out of the way past then. She... Sandhorn feels ever so slightly better about himself. <laughs> Hello. This much better. <laughs> Uh, I am going to. Uh, how far away is this giant? 
I was quite far away. Oh yeah, I should have run a bit closer. What a dickwad. I'm going to just charge towards the giant. Are you going to put me out first, or are you uh, going to double dash? No, I'm going to put Benjin out and then go. And then run. Okay. Cool. Uh, and Patch is going to climb up the fire giant's trouser leg. <laughs> bite his left testicle. And bite Her. his left testicle. It was a Left flap. Ben. Ben, ben. <laughs> oh, well, it was fine saying testicle. You didn't say that. <laughs> Somehow, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not wrong. And I'm bite. very wrong. I'm going to say that's going to have to hit. <sighs> because technically, you've described it getting under the plate armour. So mm. I'm going to have to say that that hits. <laughs> oh. In one round, that fucking rat has done more damage to it than Zandhorn has in... How long have we been at this? Yeah, quite a while. Okay, Senza. I'll be back. Okay. Back. Right. I am going to... Um... I'll be back in a second. I just heard Anne come back from the pub. I wonder if she's bought me any goodies. <laughs> okay. Don't wait until I'm after going... D&D. Well, no, because it'd be for now. I was seeing. I'm going to have to fling a guiding bolt at her, and I'm going to have to do it at level two. So I'm out of spells. Oh, you broke up a bit. And, uh, I'm running out of spells very quickly, so I've cast guiding bolt at level two and most likely miss. Yes, you missed. <laughs> Excellent. So, as my bonus action, I'm going to get Stampy to have a swing because he's right adjacent. That's a hit. That's a hit. So we've got to add my radiant damage onto that. So which so takes it to... 15. 15. I think Stampy's done more damage than... Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Has. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, sorry. Stampy's done more damage than that hit that Zanhorn has. Um, she looks after me. Vedant brewing, anyone? Nice. Mm. Um, so it's... It's no longer um, what's it called? So it gets back to digging. Yeah, um, and I'm landing because my wings no, faded. Okay, hypnotized. Zanhorn <sighs> has lost all um, <laughs> all confidence in his abilities. His his magic's failed him. His words have failed him. He's like fuck it. The only thing that seems to work against this thing is firing stuff at it. So he just crouches down, takes careful aim, and probably misses. <laughs> no! He can hit something! <laughs> <clears throat> that hit. But feeling slightly inspired by that, he will yell at, uh, at Benjin um, some incredible words of reassurance. Benjin, man on fire! Benjin, man on fire! And you have a bardic <laughs> inspiration dice to use at your discretion. Okay, so what does that do? So you can add a d8 to your d8. attack roll, to your saving throw, to an ability check. Okay, cool. Sometime in the next minute, or you lose it. Right. Benjin, it's your action. Oh, Benjin. John, roll for your um... Oh, yeah. And sighing, Zanhorn will disappear. disappear. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Benjin. Oh, thirty. Oh no. Dash is your action, isn't it? Yep. That's me. You're measuring there as well. No, I know. I'm trying to see. I, I was forget. I was oh, going to okay. go all the way. But then I won't be able to attack. <laughs> uh, okay, so. Right, Benjamin will run up to there. Um, so, yeah. Benjamin will first of all move up to there. And he will. Um, oh, there's no point doing it recklessly because it's, uh, it's. Again. So he will crossbow the. Um, Oh, I didn't take off the bolts. 
last time and he will crossbow again the giant that's, um, so that's nine um and i might as well roll that d8 straight off no it's on your attack roll not your damage roll oh okay sorry right do i have to say yes. in advance yes you have to say in advance no you, don't can, you? you can roll but then before steve says whether it hits you can say that you're going to use it yes So it's one ability check, one attack roll, or one okay. saving through. Ever, you were breaking up there. I don't know if that was my end or. Um, no, that I think it was your end, Ben. But yeah, you, oh, you have. You're you, right. you can say you can say you're going to do it before I say whether you've hit or missed. Oh, so, okay. So you can roll your dice, see how good it, how good you think it might be, and then decide. And then jump in before Steve says anything. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, okay, cool. Okay, right. So following the same tactic, she's going to move in a bit closer. And hopefully she's going to hit with a heavy crossbow, though I doubt it. Yep. Pink. She's actually got one crossbow bolt left. <laughs> Make it count, Did that hit or miss? Haval. Um, okay, so... Um... Let's just get the rat out of the way first. Right. Kind of a... I've decided how I'm going to do this. Make the attack with the rat with advantage. Because okay. it's got under the armour. I think that's the best way of handling it. Mm -hmm. Fair enough. Okay. And... That's a hit for five piercing damage. <laughs> All right. Squeak, 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 squeak. <laughs> uh, and f f for what I will actually do, I'm just going to step a little bit closer just here. Does, is go, the giant even one. wincing when it's being bit, or is it just single-minded? <laughs> you, you, you can see it's kind, of, it's, it's kind of like, what the hell is that kind of thing? But it's like still trying to dig. <laughs> I'm going to go into my little uh, my little sack on the, my, my my belt. I'm going to pull out my little book. I'm going to chant or shout at this giant. I am the bringer of your death. I am the bringer of your doom. You will fear me, and I'm going to abjure the giant. To create, make it frightened of me, which wow. is a paladin ability, Ooh. not a spell. So he has to do where is the flipping button. Are these all abilities you've forgotten about? These things you've gained in the last. These are things that I've completely forgotten about. I've had this one <laughs> for. I think I've had this one since level three. Oh, brilliant. So as an action, I present my holy symbol and speak a prayer of denunciation using my channel divinity. Choose one creature within 60 feet that you can see. That creature must make a wisdom saving throw unless it is immune to being frightened. Yeah, it'll it'll be fine. It's impossible. It can't roll low this uh, creature. Motherfucker! <laughs> <laughs> oh, so the giant is now afraid of me. Yes. Uh, his speed or her speed is reduced to zero for the next minute. Speed is just zero for the next minute. Okay. Yes. Um, frightened means it has disadvantage on all ability checks and attack rolls while you are in line of sight. Yes. And it can't willingly move towards you either. No. But that doesn't matter anyway. So being next to Haval, did I see what Holy was that he pulled out and got hold of? It's my, it's my book. I have a little book. Oh, right. I'll say if the creature is frightened for one minute or until it takes any damage. Oh, right, or until it yeah, takes I'll, any damage. Or until it right. takes damage, okay. While well, frightened the creature's speed is not in a cat mode. Right, okay. So I figured even if it does dig whatever it is up, it now can't go anywhere. Towards us. Yeah. Can't, towards it can't go in, no, it can't go anywhere at the moment. Okay. It's, it's speed oh, is right, zero. Yeah. yeah, until it takes some damage. Senza, your action. Um, well, I was going to damage it. <laughs> I don't think that should so. stop you trying. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to go over here. Unless you can do I something am... else to... Um... Within, well, I'm within 60 feet. I was going to... I can't really do very much anymore. Um, I'm going to take one last swing with Stampy. That's a hit. So that's only for nine this time. So that stops it being frightened, I'm afraid. Okay. Sorry. Um, 
an at Stampy fading now. Okay. And then, so that's my bonus action, and as my action, I'm going to top the dead on. So DC 15 C. Which it'll pass because it's not Zanhorn rolling it. Yeah. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> I mean, bad that we didn't succeed, but. <laughs> We're on the same side, you know. <laughs> <clears throat> But some of us are looking more heroic than they should. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, the giant will... Right, the giant grabs hold of what's in the ground and gives it a wiggle. And it's like, it's still... It's just It's almost out. So it just... You can see it's kind of like really toiling there to try and get this thing out. It's like, ah, ah, mm, digs a little bit further. Just to clarify, Steve, if the giant's gone in with her hands to grab this thing, does that mean she's no longer... Sorry? Has she put down her sword? No, no, she's kind of just right, quickly put, grabs, puts the sword okay. in one hand, grabs it with the other and tries to yank it out and can't, and then carries on digging with the sword again. Okay. I said the whole thing's wobbling now. It's that kind of like, it's almost out of the ground. And uh, I, I assume the giant is still looking pretty healthy and rosy. Um, it's looking reasonably healthy. Yes, it's not yeah, looking particularly good. Be indeed. Uh, Zanhorn. Zanhorn just feels like he's been useless and <laughs> <laughs> his whole life. <laughs> Uh, but he can see like this thing's almost got the thing, and in a moment of desperation, wanting to still be the hero, he's going to charge at it. <laughs> so, although it did provoke a reaction last time, if it's got uh, no, you, thing... you moved, you moved through its um, area last time. Okay, so if I'm just moving at it. Yeah, if you just move it at it, it's fine. It's when you move through is the problem. This time it's all going to work fine. <laughs> Zanhorn's going to charge at it. And he's going to try and get to... How far does Thunderwave go? I'm in a little box. You're in a little box? I'm in a little yellow box. box. Fifteen foot. Uh, your mouse is hovering over your. Um... Oh, that was weird. Yeah. Okay. Thanks. So that's fifteen foot away. Yeah, right? I found that out earlier. If you hover over yeah. people in turn order, a little yellow box now appears. So Zanhorn's going to leap, go down for the uh, <laughs> the hero landing, <clears throat> and once again cast Thunderwave, which isn't going to appear for some reason. And what's happened to that? I wonder if that's something I've done or something wrong with roll 20. Anyway, it needs to try a constitution saving throw, and it's going to roll a 1 this time. I've just got this feeling in Zanhorn's bones. <laughs> the feeling is the imminent uh, sound of his death. <laughs> Still takes half damage, though, doesn't it? It does, yeah. Uh, so that is 2, 2, 2, 2. But it's not pushed away, which is irritating. 2d8. <laughs> so, it takes two so he lands there's this and it just once again like wafts past him and he looks back up like oh no <laughs> and then disappears <laughs> Benjin right now I think I can do this so um, the first thing I'm going to do is just shout to Haval and just basically shout flank me because even Benjin can see that working together has been working right um and he's gonna he's gonna gonna, you're gonna charge him no I'm gonna well I'm gonna split my movement because I've got quite a lot of movement so the first thing I'm gonna do is I am going to move uh let me just get the old measuring tool out 15 feet I'm going to move over here, and what I don't, I don't know what her name is. I can't remember. Shout to Ratha. I'm going to tell her, grab six bolts from my bolt case. Okay. As an in, as an interaction, I presume I can do that. As an, it's not an action. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's As an fair interaction, because I know I can see that she's run out of bolts. So I'm going to mark six off of my bolt case, 
and let her have them. Then, because I've got, so I've used, it. yeah, so I've had 40 feet of movement, so I've got, I've got yeah, another 25, you. so I can easily get up there, and I, so I will get up there so that, um, well, uh, and then I will. From the attack. other plane, Zanhorn's yelling at the top of his voice, you don't want to get that close, you idiot! <laughs> So why not to that no one? <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't matter. Well, you can't hear. You him. can't hear it. He's on another plane. <laughs> yeah, but I've I've seen something happen before. Have I? Has Ben just missed something completely? No, 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 no. no, no. All right. Okay. okay. There's, there's so um, yeah. So I'm in there, and obviously I am going to attack recklessly on the first hit. So with advantage. Uh, bum, ba -dum, ba -dum. <laughs> Mother trucker. <laughs> um, but he's going to take a second hit anyway. From the other plane, Zandhorn's just doing like a slow clap. So, eight, <laughs> eight slashing damage. Eight slashing damage. Yeah. That second one was good, though. He stops clapping. like. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, so, Duratha has now got some crossbow bolts, so she's going to... Yeah. Uh... I, I think I told her to grab six. I should probably have just... The heart she still misses. Oh. <laughs> Thanks, to be honest. But Haval. Haval. I'm Did gonna... that not hit? Did that hit or not? No, it missed. Oh. It's wearing massive black plate armour. Oh, fuck's sake. That looks so, like about an uh, inch thick. For the Patch is going to do another six points of damage. She's going to do another six points of damage. <laughs> We're seeing it from the inside out. <laughs> which I think puts Patchett doing something around 20-odd points of damage. <laughs> yes. <to> wow. Yes. <laughs> Patch, yet again, will be winning MVP, I think. Although, I actually, I think Sens is going to get MVP for this match. Yeah. Going to get yeah. what? MVP. And what's that? Most, most, most valuable, valuable, most valuable, valuable player. player. <laughs> most... Have I not, like, fucked a load of stuff? I did fucking... <laughs> In, in so he effect. broke up there, Benjamin. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. See, in effect, Sensor has done a hundred and odd, I'm not going to say, but nearly 200 points of damage by getting one giant just to walk away. So. Mm. <laughs> On a technicality, though. Yeah. <laughs> um, How, as we all know, te being technically correct, the best form of correct. <laughs> oh, yes, yeah, we do. Very in character. <laughs> um so as I'm marching towards this giant, I'm going to tell her that uh, her soul has been weighed and found forfeit. Her life then is mine, which is my vow of enmity, enmity, and I'm now at advantage when I do my long sword attack. Just as well. Nice. Have we worked out what what her um and what it is? So twenty one hits. It's... Oh, 21 would hit. Yeah, do we know, what she's, yeah, do we know use, what she's at? I'm going to use my second level spell slot to what? do my That's... other fancy thing. Did not mean to press that Why? button. Thanks. <laughs> Confused the hell out of me. <laughs> uh, so that is my divine smite. Uh, so this is, I get to roll an additional 3d8. Boom. God. What? It's not even the average. 13 damage. Okay. Um, Senza. Oh, sorry. That was only my first attack. Sorry. Keep yeah. going. No, I... Oh, okay. Um... I thought you did your um, total, what's it called? The... Uh, no, I because uh, it was a bonus action to the talking patch did a strike and then yep. i've only done one strike with my longsword okay so is your divine smite not an action or a bonus action then no it's no, when it's... i do when i hit oh nice yeah you add it on to the attack you add it on okay to and i do a further five 18 points of damage in total wildy 52 this is gonna be interesting Senza. right uh mm. Oh god, do I do do I use my last spell slot? Yeah. What's the yeah, worst that could happen? I, you all die. <laughs> I mean there's that. 
fully prepared for that to happen. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Guiding bolt at level three. <laughs> that, that will do it. <laughs> <laughs> so that is 21 points of damage. Yeah, and I don't believe I can do anything. Okay. Do not do not have like a little bow and arrow or anything, Senza. Um well that'd still be an action for me to draw so I can start plinking away next turn maybe, but I'm much better with spells. Okay, you done? Can I ask an out again yeah. question before you take your rounds? Go on. Yeah. Have I been has my voice been chopping up? Only in that last half hour. Mm. Right, I think I might have figured this out. I think it's been towards the game way through my uh, work laptop's now getting very hot and i've noticed i have the proper docking station but the docking station covers the heat vent ports <laughs> and the fans on so i think basically everything starts to slow down to the end yeah. of the gaming session because my laptop my work laptop starts to overheat so that's why i just put my hand over to my power machine button. when i was streaming everything yeah my laptop yeah yeah fan graphic well, it, the fan's going, but no, it's... But uh, if you get a fan, just to gently waft some air over it, or not... Ah, uh, right. Yeah, I've actually got a laptop base, which has got a fan built into it. Yeah. Unfortunately, I need the dock to use the second screen, but... Yeah. Um, so, yeah, it may be... No, we lost it. Maybe my computer <laughs> yeah, overheating. Fine. Just as you're explaining, you lost you. <laughs> yeah. Fine. Right. right. So... In the last round, you've basically hit it with absolutely everything. The, and it's, you can start to see now the giant is kind of like bloodied and wounded from the attacks you've just done. She kind of just sighs in frustration, gives, gives the, tries to give the thing another tug, and it's just like, it's almost gone, but it's like, no. So she carefully guards and slowly backs away. So it takes a disengage as the first action. Oh, do we get tax of opportunity? Or no, because she no, disengaged. disengaged and heads out. Wow. Oh, hang on. Patch is still up her trouser leg. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Technically, yes. Technically, you can't disengage from the can disengage from everyone else. Armor. <laughs> okay, Zanhorn. Seeing it retreating, Oops. <laughs> it's going to appear. Fucking go for it! A little bit closer. <laughs> he's going to level his crossbow because he's pretty much out of everything else, and swearing under his breath that he can't do anything you anything right today. He'll lose another what? bolt. What's its speed, Steve? Thirty. That move thirty-five. Yeah, it has moved slightly out of my. But if it... let me just double check. Yeah, because bottom corner was there, wasn't it? Bottom corner, to bottom corner. Yeah, that's right. Cool. Okay, and you missed. Right, Benjamin. <laughs> so I, I was checking. You see, I can move forty, but I can. Uh, um, no, I'm I'm going after it. Fuck it. I'm still angry. Um. Right, so Benjamin's having a go. Uh, he'll move there, and he probably miss. Does that hit? Eight points of damage, and he'll have another go. And oh, boom, you yeah. dickhead! Nice, fanny head. Um, <laughs> What's that? Nine, uh, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one. No, is that twenty-one? Yeah. What's what's, what's 19, your age? Twenty, twenty-one. Yeah. Twenty-one, 21. plus the two, isn't it? Do you still no, no, no. Age? That's nineteen plus the two. Yeah. yeah sorry, twenty-one. So, so you've done 21. a total of twenty-nine damage. Is that right? Mm -hmm. uh, twenty-one. Yes. Uh, plus eight. That's... Twenty-nine damage. Yes. Impressive. Well, that's no. very impressive. I thought you were going to say he'd felled it then. <laughs> oh, I was just getting ready to describe oh. what I've done. 
All right, so she moves up. If she kills it, I'm going to be so pissed off. <laughs> <laughs> no, pink off the armor. Uh, Haval. Okay, I'm going to uh, charge up. Ben, ben Ginger shouts, bring it on! Okay. Uh, still an advantage. And... Oh, so close. And then, again, use my second... My last second level two spot to do an extra eight damage. Oh, I've still got my D8. I forgot about that. Boom! She falls to the floor dead with a massive trash and puff of dust. <laughs> Benjamin literally turns around to Haval. He doesn't. And <laughs> with a high five back, but he goes to do it. <laughs> I just realised I didn't roll for Zanhorn to see whether he disappeared again. <laughs> <laughs> I could assume that he'd, he'd cancelled it at this point. Because then he can go, Hooray! We did it! <laughs> did, did did Haval come back with a high five? I was there. I was waiting. Boom. <sighs> wow. Killed a giant. And got a big pile of adamantium. The question Maybe. is, yeah. if we did get up ourselves. Question is, what happened to the other one? It's the other one, a he's committed one suicide. Still concentrating on it, it's still skipping merrily away. It, it's it's still it's still sprinting away. Yeah, it's um, how many turns has it been since you cast that? Um, Quite a four few. Or five. It's not that many. It's not that many, and I can concentrate on it for eight hours. <laughs> <laughs> I've had okay. Yeah, okay. I've had great turns. Um, Raged and it was before then. Yeah. So yeah, it's five or six. So five times yeah. But are you thinking we should go after? No. <laughs> only only no. in so much as um, well, if it's not going to attack, we could go and retrieve the rod it was using to find. This thing under the ground. I've just noticed um, it's been doing slash king damage. Slashing, yeah, slash I know. King damage. <laughs> that's that's me. Can't be bothered to type properly. That is. How how is everyone feeling at the moment? Pretty hurt. Exhausted. <clears throat> I'm going to say to Sen I'm going to say to Senza, if you can maintain concentration, is it worth chasing it to retrieve? That rod. I don't know. Oh, did it have um, something that's finding it? Yeah. Yeah, and if it if it if it's something that's that's leading it to these things, it might well be important. Yes. Um, I'm going to look across to Doratha and say, "Are there horses here?" They're where? I've sent them all south. <laughs> if you remember the I. I yeah. There was an orc attack at the southern farms, so I sent was all the only... horses yeah. south. You sent your riders south. Was it only walking there any... away, or was it dashing away? Not, not that I can give you. That you might be able to persuade someone else to give you some. But are there any horses in Tribal that are likely to be nearby? Where would be the well, closest one? I'll be back in a second, guys. This, this entire, Sorry. this entire. Well, I, I tell you what, Ben. Well, we're gonna. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna we're gonna finish in ten minutes, aren't we? Yeah, I'm gonna say we're gonna finish soon. So that's it. <laughs> um, she says that it's it's a it's a coach stop. The entire town of the coach stop. There's loads of horses. It's just what what what's your thinking? She says we need to get that giant. We we think it would be worth trying to retrieve. To how do you how do you intend to do that? It took it took rounds of you pounding that thing while it was distracting with the digging to kill it. We don't need to what? kill it. We just need to retrieve the item and let it keep walking. We can't harm it. If you harm it, it will break the spell and it will likely... Harm it as in damage it, right? Yes. Just lifting oh, something gently from its person? That doesn't sound like damaging. And do you things think get... you can do it gently? I'm pretty sneaky. Well, if things get dodgy, if we can get to it, I can. if I can cast Abjure enemy again and stand in front of it it's not gonna it 
it's not going to go anywhere. But it's not it's not the moving that's, that's the problem. It's the whether it retaliates. But it's if 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 I can cast abjure enemy, he'll go down to zero movement, and then you can sneakily steal stuff from it, and he gets disadvantage against any rolls. Oh, I see. Okay. How many times a day can you abjure your enemy? I will have to double check. So what spell was it you cast on him, um, Paul? Uh, suggestion. It was a class of suggestion, okay. Yeah. Um, it doesn't specify how many times I can. No oh, right. worries. So if, he, if the giant fails the wisdom saving throw, it's frightened of me for one minute and its um, speed is reduced to zero. It can't benefit from any bonuses. Uh, da, 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 da. What else is it? Oh, no, you must finish your short or long rest to use your channel to get. Oh. I think you can only use it once a day. I've got to finish a short rest, though, you say. Oh, which is... Yeah, short. yeah. Okay. that's an hour. I shall add that to uh, my details. I'll look at Senza and say, I think it's your call. If you think, from your knowledge of, of your spell, if you think that uh, it's just damaging it, is likely to wake it up, then I think it's worth a shot if it helps us uh, locate whatever else this thing might have been looking for. All of these things seem to be linked. The more help they we can do. Find, the better. I would like to spend some time attempting to identify this thing now. Mm. Digging up, but I can do that once we've dealt with the yeah. other giant. Agreed. But I can also interrogate the corpse, but that will need to wait till tomorrow. Mm -hmm. I'm going to start looking around. Do I see any horses? Yeah, um, Benjamin's got, can Benjamin run through the gates and around the... No, we lost you. Ah, bollocks. Can you run through can you the hear gates me now? and... So if Benjamin runs through the gates and around the... I would like to see <laughs> what I can see. Right, okay, so I've moved to the bigger map to kind of see what, what's going on. So um, you're in, you're in that, the courtyard where the gates are now. You yeah, can yeah, still yeah. see the giant walking off, because it's actually been about, like, 30 seconds, if yeah. that, oh, okay. since, since it's started trying to Oh, off. right. So I can, um, see, I can see what direction he's going. Yeah, yeah, because... What we need is horses. Yeah. You can get horses. It'll take you around to find some horses, uh, because there are stables everywhere around here, basically. A lot of them would have been scared off by the fire giants, but uh, you are in... Um, the guy who told you about the... Um, the wanted poster. Yes, the greasy guy. Yeah, he's got horses available, because you're in his yard at the moment. Smashing. Okay, I'm sure he'll be uh, quite happy to let us borrow a couple of horses as well, after what we've just done. Let's make with haste to him then. And as we're running, I will say to Senza, or shout to Senza, uh, have you heard back from Felgalas yet? <laughs> we sent him a message to say, come and help us. <laughs> Anything? Not not yet, no. <laughs> uh, does anybody need any healing? We're up. Sandhorn will raise his hand as he's running. I'm fine. <laughs> Quite badly hurt. <laughs> um, I can give you uh, another, f I can give you ten. Ten health points will that help? That's better than five. So yes. Oh, would you, would, do do you, will ten do, or do you need fifteen? I, I was going to leave five as an emergency. Ten's fine. Okay, cool. Take ten. I'm going to just come up and um, stroke your face. <laughs> Sandhorn will enjoy that just a little bit too much. Um, yes, uh, Paul. I forgot about the um, Felgulas one. Right. Yes. To be fair, as had I, I <laughs> cast it, so I've used one more third level spell than I could have done. <laughs> um, you get a reply back. It's muffled, though. Mm. And it just kind of says, um, <laughs> can't help eating. <laughs> <laughs> Captured by Sansory. Fuck. Help. No. Sansory. He's asking for help. Uh, 
Have you passed this on to a sensor? Have you told us? I uh, yeah, I'd have shouted it out. Does anyone know what who they are? Can I? Is Sensory? Can... That's you, isn't it? Shut <laughs> up! Still running. <laughs> Always with the jokes. It's just terrible timing. <laughs> no, Zanhorn was just genuinely confused. All <laughs> oh, right, no, that was good, wasn't it? <laughs> San Sansuri, Sansuri, okay. Sansuri, Sansuri. That sounds better. Stick to pronunciation, Steve. At this point, when we've just like literally slain a Benjin, will pull out his bottle of um, apple brandy. Take no <laughs> I imagine Ben just, just stood there over the course of it, like one foot on it, like swigging his brandy <laughs> while the three of us sprint towards the horses. <laughs> did you just swipe my brandy? <clears throat> I knocked it from your hand, in fact, motherfucker. <laughs> uh, does he have to do a check for that or anything? <laughs> knocked my hand. Um... If we were running, because Benjamin's not going to let that go right, lightly. <laughs> uh, dext oppose dexterity checks. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? What have we got into? You know, this is how the Masters of Fate got into their trouble. Yes, <laughs> dexterity check. Okay. Uh, dexterity. Where's that? Just click on the dexterity. Uh, oh right. Okay. On the left. Right. Unlikely of all. <laughs> uh, where is dexterity? I just top like left. The boxes. Reload. <laughs> On the left, the, your actual just scores. Below. Just below. Yeah. Literally. Yeah. I'm clicking Step on the one down. Happened. Yeah. No. no, no click on, click on the, the word, word dexterity. dexterity. Oh right. Hey. <laughs> with... Even with advantage. <laughs> So Ben keeps hold of it. He swipes it and Ben <laughs> just goes, nope. nope. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you. And there was me going to offer you. Right then. So you, 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 you managed to get to some horses. I'm going to... Uh, is, is the horse guy anywhere near? Um, he, he's, he, he kind of pokes his head from out of hiding and kind of goes, you got rid of that thing then? Yep, we need a horse. We'll be back yep. in a minute. And I'll just I'll just flick him a gold piece. Uh, right, okay. As long as you get back, back in a minute. <laughs> so yeah, I guess I'm we'll... also going to flip him a gold piece and charge off after this joint. Okay, so how many horses has he got? Loads. Enough. All right. Have awesome. we all got? Fl well, I'll flick yeah. him a gold piece and grab a horse. Yeah, if everyone <laughs> else is doing it. <laughs> when in Rome, eh? Yeah. Yeah. Right, let's say let's say he's got to about there, and then you chase down after him. So he's still trudging forward out of the town. Okay, so as dragging we... his sword behind him. Says so we have I'm having that fucking right. sword. Right, Go. whatever you do, don't damage him. Don't hit him. Rewind a little bit. What was the suggestion you gave to him, Paul? The suggestion was, it's hopeless. You can't find it. Leave his place and never return. Okie doke. Right, Benjamin just sh turns around to him and says, I speak giant. We don't want to interact if you with want him. To converse, no, do no, it. No, 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 no. Yeah. You stay Un quiet, Benjamin. Un understood, Benjamin. We get it. So, as it happens, I do still have a couple of spells left. And one of them happens to be. Pass Kill without John. trace. Oh. So as we approach this thing, <laughs> we suddenly have plus ten to our stealth. All of us do. Thank goodness. <laughs> so as we get as we get close, it's like the horse like <laughs> <laughs> All of us and the horses are very, very quiet. Okay then, so everyone make a stealth check then. With plus and, uh, ten. Uh, or plus 10, but don't, I will work that out on the, on the figures. 15. Okay, 15. 29. 27. 29. 27. Okay, so you all approach, and even though Benjin is making a... like 15 <laughs> still pretty good. Um, the, the, giant ha the, the giant hasn't noticed you approaching. 
out, out of a game question, do you sort of take the average then when it's a thing like group, that? Group is 50% of you have to make the test. Ah, okay, cool. Okay, so I'm going to look at Senza like, I'm going to try it. It's, it's going to be worth a shot. Damn me. Have we, have, we got, um, have we got anything to help you make this successful? I have nothing. What have you got to do, I, sorry? Okay, what first of all, as we approach, can I actually see the rod on its person? Yes, it's, it's on his belt. How's it held on the belt? Uh, he's got a loop in his belt for it. If I were to... Uh, sound... Hang on, hang on, hang on. Can Benjamin use his eagle to get any, any better look at that? You can see it's kind of tied to a loop so we could, you know, get it, get to it. Right. So, Zanhorn reaches into his sack and produces the chime of opening. Okay. <laughs> what the fuck is that? It's the, the it's item we picked up quite pimples. some time ago. And he's like, <laughs> I mean, it's got to be worth a go, right? <clears throat> Benjin's obviously forgotten this and he just looks at How many instruments have you got? <laughs> All of them. Now a chime. So let me just. Do I need to touch it on or do I just sound it? I can't remember now. Do, 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 do. Uh, strike it on an action, point it at an object within 120 feet and it can be open, such as a door, <laughs> lid, or lock. Would something tying something count? I think so. <laughs> I, I think so as well. I, you, yeah. You can try. So. Still a reasonable distance off, but Zanhorn will level it on his arm and just, uh, with his instrumental uh, experience, will just go, ding. <laughs> okay, knock, knock a, ch a charge off from yep. the list, and you see the knot holding it to his belt undo, and the rod drop to the floor. Zanhorn will be like, there we go. My one useful thing for the day. <laughs> useful thing for the day. <laughs> How close are we? About a hundred feet away. Oh. Yeah, the the the, the chime's got a range of about one hundred and twenty feet. So. Oh yeah, but I mean, I don't know how close we got before he did that. Zanhorn I mean, had been thinking I'm about clap this. Zanhorn on the back and give him a nod of approval. Well done. Well done. Mm. At this point, so said... we'll just stop. Like no, no one, no one move a muscle. We just wait until it's. We're clear. just gonna wait. <laughs> We're just gonna wait. <laughs> oh, it's silently yeah. did it. Yeah, I made a he didn't notice. Benji, made a Benji, Benji, why, why don't you have another swig of that brandy? <laughs> <laughs> I think we deserve it. Yeah, I think we all. Benji it. passes it round. <laughs> Haval's last though because he tried to knock it out of his. Haval still doesn't drink. <laughs> Benjamin's very tempted to grapple him and pour it down his gullet. And as as Zanon can see Benjamin winding up for this, and he'll just like put an arm around him, just go, "We did it, and you did an incredible amount of damage to those guys. Well done, Benjamin. Well done." <laughs> he looks at he looks at you with your Elvis features and says, "Stop trying to read my mind." <laughs> I'll look him deep uh, in the eyes and who say, can read minds? I'll look him deep in the eyes and say, that is the apple brandy you'd like to give to me, though. <laughs> <laughs> Bending gives him another swig. <laughs> yeah. I don't know how much of it I've got left, to be fair. OK, so when, when the giant's clear, uh, we'll walk up and grab the rod and then head back okay. into town, I think. I think that's a probably an opportune place to stop it for this evening, then. Uh, what does the rod look session? like? Uh, I'm just trying to find that. Oh, jump. oh, 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 hang on. Um, crossbow bolts. We're not, not shooting, not shooting anyone. No, no, no. no. Re-picking up arrows and things. Let uh, off. Okay, you, can, you, you can retrieve half of um, the ones you fired. Okay, uh, how how many? Okay, I can retrieve half of what I fired. How many did the person I gave six to? She, she, she fired off? one. She fired one. Okay, so can I get all five back off her as well? To get the five back off her, yeah. Five back off her plus half of the remaining. Yeah, um, it's a it's rather heavy. This 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 
rod, what looked like a wand to the giant, is like a staff. So it's four feet long mm-hmm. and weighs about 100 pounds. So it's pretty. So Zanhorn will reach into his sack, pull out the bag of holding, and then just like <laughs> put one end of the bag of holding over it and just go. go, go. <laughs> 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 and then just drop it smugly back in his satchel. <laughs> it's um, it looks a little bit like a like a fork. It's got like a molded grip at one end to hold onto, and at the very end is like two tiny little forks. Is it like an adamantium diviner? Uh, yes. Okay. Oh wow! Cool. Give me ten minutes with it, and I can find out exactly what it is and what it does. And um, we'll find that out next session, I believe. Uh, <laughs> how much? Uh, just I'm just tidying up my shit. I had half a bottle of apple brandy. I've had a, we've had a fair bit from it. Do you think it's finished? And on that oh, note, so got... we'll say goodnight to our <laughs> Yes. <laughs> they want to know. They want to know whether Ben. Yeah, but Ben, you've got to leave him on a cliffhanger hanger. <laughs> oh. Important question: Are we? I assume it's it's only the twentieth. Steve is the a potential next game. Uh, December. Yes, because I will have to um, there will deconstruct be Christmas stuff. <laughs> the Christmas stuff. Yes, so there's a possibility Sorry? we might not be playing on the 27th. I'll have to see. I can't remember what I'm doing that day. Good bear. So when are we playing next? 20th. Don't know. We'll, we'll... Soon. <laughs> so Soon. you think we might not be playing on the 20th? No, I think we're playing on the 20th. I think. All oh, right. Yeah. yeah. Cool. Keep us posted. Okay. Yeah. All right. So next week, the Masters of Fate will, of course, be back for some more craziness. A different, <sighs> a different <sighs> flavor. <laughs> <laughs> a different flavor of craziness. None so entertaining as watching Zanhorn fail miserably for two hours. <laughs> Benji get covered in a flame scar. Yeah, and sends uh, the damage dealer, the, the, the <laughs> oh, persuader, oh. the uh... patch did all the damage. Well, that's true. Obviously, patch did. yes, yeah, yeah. To yes. be fair, we all did a shitload of damage except Zan. Yeah. <laughs> all right, all right. <laughs> <laughs> Yep, Zanhorn's useless. Let's tune back in in two weeks to see whether we can be less useless. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye. Good night, people. Bye-bye. Thanks for watching. <laughs>